Former Senator Max Baucus left his position as Chinese ambassador a few years ago, but when he was in Missoula this week, we got a chance to ask him about China trade and some of those issues during his visit at the University of Montana. Katie Miller sat down with the senator afterward and has more. Max Baucus was Montana's longest serving U.S. Senator and a former U.S. Ambassador to China. On Thursday, MTN News sat down with him to ask his opinions on international policies and affairs. In regards to the trade wars, he says America and China need to work together. The more we understand and deal with China in a way that makes sense for America, don't let China take advantage of us, but um, respect China in a way that they respect us, then our lives and the lives of our kids and our grandkids are going to be better. When asked how trade with China is impacting Montanans, Baca said the value for many agricultural exports is going down, especially for wheat. I think it's partly related to all the trade tensions. If there's less tension, then it's more likely we're going to be able to sell more to, 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 uh, to our usual customers. This past June, demonstrations began in Hong Kong to protest a proposed extradition bill, which is seen as a threat to Free residents. Hong Kong. He says the situation Free is a mess and very unfortunate, but any American involvement wouldn't affect change. Of course we want to respect the human rights and stand up for the human rights of the people in Hong Kong, but um, there's not a lot we can do directly. Bacchus is currently residing in Bozeman with his wife and recently founded the Bacchus Institute through the University of Montana. The whole idea is to get Montana kids interested in service, especially public service. It helps fund student internships in Washington, D.C. and study abroad trips to China. The more we learn, the more we get out and see what's happening in other parts of the world, the better off we're going to be. We'll see new opportunities that we hadn't otherwise seen. In Missoula, Katie Miller, MTN News.